Hi, my name is Eric Hall, and I am getting ready to go to cosplay karaoke tonight as the classic 70s, 80s version of Green Arrow. And since I don't have a beard and a goatee, I use spirit gum and attach it that way to my face. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial. I have seen some posts about people asking about how to apply fake beards and mustaches and things like that. So I thought I'd give everybody a quick run through as I do it. So what you'll need is some spirit gum. It usually comes in a little container like this. You can get it in larger containers from uh, costume supply stores. This time of year, you can find this just about anywhere. Target, Smith's, uh, anywhere that sells temporary Halloween stuff. And I've got some fake hair. You can also get those at costume supply stores or uh, Again, supermarkets, uh, Target, Shopco, places like that uh, this time of year. And you just um, mold it kind of into the, the shape that you'd like. I usually put a little bit of hairspray on it uh, just so it will uh, hold its shape a little bit better. And what you do with the spirit gum is kind of a two-step process. First, what you want to do is apply it to where it's going to stick. So I put it, if I had a mustache, I put it where the mustache would be. And I do both sides. It smells a little bit like pine trees. And for some people it stings just a little bit when it goes on. For me it does sting just a little bit. And then I'll put some down on where the goatee is going to go. And I put a pretty good amount on. Uh, make sure that your skin is clean first so um, that you don't have makeup on and uh, if like it's the evening right now so I just washed my face to get kind of the some of the dirt and oils off of it if you're going to be putting on any type of makeup afterwards I'd recommend that you put your beard on first and then once the beard or the mustache is on use a q-tip to kind of uh, carefully put the makeup where you want it to go so you don't rub it onto the beard or mustache so I've worn the beard and the mustache several times before. So after a while you'll get a little bit of a spirit gum residue which is kind of good actually because you can see where it's gone before and so you want to put some spirit gum on the mustache or the beard itself. So I'll put one on there, do the other side of the mustache, same type of thing Hold up a little bit more so you can see it. Now the secret to spirit gum is patience. You can't just put it on and then immediately apply the beard or the mustache. You have to wait about a minute or so. And during this time you'll feel it kind of tingle a little bit. It's not really painful, but you can kind of feel it drying or something just a little bit. And if you can't see that, I'm just doing the same thing on the goatee here. And there's a couple different ways that things can stick. There's adhesion, where one thing is sticky and it sticks to something else that's not sticky. And then there's cohesion, where both things are sticky and they stick to each other a little bit better. So what we're going for here is cohesion. So after about a minute or so, what I'm going to do is just use my finger and you can see how it's kind of sticking to my finger here. It's kind of activating the spirit gum. Making it nice and sticky. And since I've waited about a minute, it's able to do this. If I had done this immediately after putting it on, it wouldn't have done it. And I can't, if you 
I don't know if you can see here. See how it's sticky and it like makes little spider web things? That's how you know it's about ready. So I've done that on my chin, done it under my lip. I'm going to kind of wash off my finger here with a little soap and water. Uh, most of the time, if you get spirit gum at uh, like a Smith's or something like that, it will come with a little vial of spirit gum remover. So I'm just washing my hands right now. Uh, what I'm going to do next is kind of the same thing on the back side of the mustache. It's kind of sticky there. So I don't think if you saw it, I'm going to hold this up one a little bit higher. And you can kind of see the spider web thingies. And I'll do the same on the goatee here. Hold it up so you can see it. Now, I'm going to wash off my finger again. I am going to carefully apply both sides of the mustache. And I'm going to kind of look at the mirror here. So there's one side. the other side and then carefully do the same thing with the goatee and I'm using the fingers that I didn't touch to the spirit glue to kind of pat them down Now, as long as I don't like rip these off or have somebody else rip them off, they should stay on really well uh, for the evening until I want them to take them off. Uh, again, a couple things you can do. The spirit gum remover comes in an almost identical vial. It's got a little brush in it. You can just kind of brush it underneath and just kind of peel it off and then you save it. Um, I usually store them in a, like a plastic Ziploc bag. Uh, so they don't stick to other things, and then you can use it again. So that's how I use spirit gum. Good luck.